Hey there, Janae with Palin Projects here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be uh, potting up my starts. So I have my rhubarbs, my lemon basil, thyme, um, and I'm trying to kind of shield them from the wind, um, but I thought it'd be a nice day to sit outside and pot up some plants. The rhubarbs are getting a little big for their britches, and it looks like the lemon basil and the thyme have so, kind of their true leaves, um, their first set of true leaves. So um, I wanted to get them out of these seed cells and into big plant pots. So um, let's get going. So what you'll need for this are your plant starts or your seedlings. I reuse and save the pots that I get from like nurseries um, that have my annuals or sometimes they have um, some perennials that I buy and I just save them so that it's not a one-use plastic scenario I can reuse. So um, these didn't have any disease in them last year. I didn't wash them out so you can kind of see the the dirt in them but um, you know it is recommended that you wash and dry your pots before you reuse them. Um, do as I say not as I do I guess. Um, and then I do have my potting soil down here in my little rubber made. So, um, there's a seed tray that I filled the other day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start, um, fill my, fill my little container here, make a nice deep well. Probably shouldn't do this over my seedlings. I think you can see it here, so we'll do it there too, okay. So I filled it. Um, I want to leave a lip so that when I water it doesn't kind of overflow. But I'm going to build a nice little well in here. And then what I like to do is I like to take just a regular spoon. It fits pretty good in these hexagonal um, cells. But I just, sit in, I just push it down in there and scoop it up. And then put my little seedling in here and then tuck it in all nice and tight. Maybe add a little more soil. And there you go. There is a potted rhubarb plant. Okay, I'm gonna start on the rest of these now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
some seedlings left, like this little guy is a little too small. I have my celeries. I didn't transplant these two rhubarbs yet. Um, I want to see if that one kind of makes it. It looks like it's, it's dampening off. So I might have gotten that a little too wet. Um, and then my rosemaries. I didn't show you guys me planting the rosemaries, but my rosemaries are starting to come up now too, which is exciting. So I will go and put this back under uh, the shop lights or the grow lights in the room. And the rest of these I'm going to load up on, I have cookie sheets um, because my, my solid trays are being used right now. Um, I'll just transfer these to cookie sheets. You should mark them um, every single pot, but I'm gonna line them up in rows. So um, hopefully I won't um, forget what they are or uh, mix up. The leaf structure is pretty different on each of these, so I don't think I'll mix them up, but you really should put a marker in each, each pot. Um, so I'll put them on cookie sheets for now and that's how I will uh, water them or I'll get them watered is the cookie sheet will ca capture all of the water um, and I'll transport them in and out when I um, start to harden them off with these cookie sheets as well. So they're just cookie sheets that I transferred into basically gardening sheets. I could wash them up and still cook cookies on them I guess but I haven't. Hope you enjoyed this bonus video for the day and we'll see you next week. Bye!